Hey folks, this is Dave from Mad Reviews, and today I'm reviewing a fireplace. Um, the Valor Plus fireplace is what I'm reviewing. Had it here for about almost 10 years, I think. It's been a long time. Uh, and uh, this is a fully uh, automated fireplace if you want it to be. Like this, this uh, remote control is programmable, so you can make the fireplace come on when um, it detects a certain temperature of the room so that it can like keep the keep the warmth up in the room it took me a while I would say the fireplace is uh, probably you know twice as smart as I am still to this day I'm not I I can't fully you know I'm not good with uh, remote controls actually but um, that's my fault the fireplace itself it it really uh, does a great job as far as um, if you want it to be automated, which I have in the past managed to get it automated. And it'll do, uh, it'll come on when you need it to and it'll turn off when you need it to. I've like messed around with it. Like, so I'll, you know, I'll forget about like, you know, the pilot light is in there. And if, uh, you know, if you turn it off manually, like if you force it to go off, it'll like, it'll, um, the pilot light can go out if you're just trying to like, you know, if you, if you, force it too much but you can like I actually mostly operate this fireplace manually now I just turn it on and off as I you know as I need it uh currently <clears throat> currently here it is springtime so the weather is warmed up a bit uh I live in Canada so long winters um this is a basement it gets pretty cold down here um in the winter time so uh quick quick history of this uh this area uh this brick fireplace used to be like a normal fireplace uh until i think one time we started a fire and then uh left the room for a minute and then the next thing we knew like the flu had like you know was blocked and it like smoked the whole room out so we basically like learned a lesson at that point just to like you know you can't like you can't mess around with real fire and like you know like turn your back on it ever so yeah the room got smoked out and then at that point is when uh this house was you know we installed some um these type of fireplaces so there's one upstairs and there's one here and uh this valor plus it's been yeah like almost 10 years and it's uh you know appearance wise it's pretty like it seems to fit in with this sort of decor even though like it doesn't match at all like the fireplace looks nice um it's a bit like you know there's some paint splatters and stuff on it because i like i kind of use this as a creative area you know there's like a painting here and like a bunch of stuff and um so yeah this is like a durable fireplace looks nice um gets really warm uh when it's cold so that's like the you know that's like the, exactly what you want a fireplace to do. Um, the remote, you know, if you're into the automated part, which I imagine most people who would get this would, would be, it's like you can totally automate this thing. But I'm just like OCD, so I basically, I'm al always like manually tweaking it to be like just, you know, exactly the temperature I want it to be. So um, one thing I'd say is like, you know, if you, you can't really, like, you have to be, uh, like, if I'm working out next to this fireplace, I'm going to, like, I'm going to pass out, you know, because it's just, like, too hot. Even if it's, even if the fire is low, like, the heat that comes off this thing, like, it's designed to heat a big room like this. Um, keeps the whole basement, like, which is actually multiple rooms, like, toasty in the winter. Um, my cat loves it. Uh, she sits near it. Um... You know, it doesn't have the, the, you know, the charm of like a real fire. But then again, like I said, this, uh, a real fire could be like, you know, can be hazardous if you're not really super careful with it. This one, you know, the worst that's happened with this is it's just like the room's gotten too hot or too cold, which is just like totally within my power to change at any point. So, you know, and the fact that this is, you know, it's been going on for, you know, had this thing installed for almost a decade, it's just like, um, 
I guess that's a, you know, that's props to the fireplace because it, uh, there's never really been any issues with it. All the issues have come from the fact that I don't understand like how to use this thing and I'm, I'm just not big on remotes, but, um, it's not like I don't understand how to use it. I just sort of, sh I just sort of shy away from it. Like I just, I'd rather just control it manually and, and, uh, but sometimes you would need it to be like automated and it has been automated in the past. Uh, but once you sort of like decide to just like manually screw around with it, it's like, you know, then you have to like reset the settings to make it automated again. So, you know, it all depends on like your, uh, your requirements of the fireplace, like what, you know, the size of your house and like how hot you like the room to be. Um, it's really nice. Like even, even though it's not a real fire, it still like looks looks good and um has a bit of allure to it like it's just like a, it's a comforting fireplace slightly you know slightly high-tech modern um yeah so it's just between the two main components are just the fireplace and the thing that controls the fireplace actually this thing used to sit on the wall and just um we had like a little bracket for it where it would sit and kind of like you know, the fireplace would, it kind of, um, I guess it sort of like communicated with the remote or whatever, like the remote sort of, you know, it needs to be in proximity to the fireplace, but it, but yeah, I usually just like leave it around like it. I haven't used the, the fireplace in the last week because of the fact that it's, you know, the temperature has gone up. There's no need for a fire. But, um, yeah, so overall, this fireplace, you know, got to give it top score because it's lasted a long time. It looks really nice. Uh, totally, totally uh, customizable. And, um, yeah, so it can heat up a big giant room like this and, you know, keep the whole basement warm in the, uh, in the, cool, in the cold season. So, uh, Valor Plus, got to give it a big thumbs up. So that's it.